let's talk briefly about the topic breakdown of both Math 1 and Math 2 with an emphasis on the differences, again, because a lot of students are interested in you know, what is the difference between these two tests. Here's Math 1. You can see the majority of the test, as is typical of all SAT tests, is in algebra and in geometry. The big difference here in geometry is in Math 1, you've got this plain Euclidean geometry, things like circles and squares and areas and Pythagorean theorem and all that kind of stuff, finding the distances between things. You've got a lot of that, whereas in Math 2, which is down here, you got none of it. The difference is, number one, there's less geometry in Math 2 than there is in Math 1, 28 to 32 percent compared to 38 to 42 percent. And you've actually got more trigonometry and more in-depth trigonometry in the Math 2. So in the Math 2, your trig is right triangles, identities, radians, law of cosines, law of sines, equations. They claim double angle formulas, but as we'll see, there are ways to get around the double angle formulas and other such identities. Whereas in Math 1, it's just right triangles and identities, which is basically like um, Pythagorean identity, sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1, that kind of thing. So, And there's only 6 to 8%. So there's not as much in the Math 1 as there is in Math 2. But otherwise, they're the same. They both have coordinate geometry. Both have three-dimensional geometry. To make up for it, Math 2 has much more algebra and functions. So 48 to 52% compared to 38 to 42% from the Math 2, uh, Math 1. And so the types of functions you're going to see in Math 2 are generally going to be more complex. You'll see linear, polynomial, rational, exponential, logarithmic, trigonometric, inverse trigonometric, and so on. Piecewise, recursive, parametric, all these kinds of more advanced functions that you would see in pre-calculus. Whereas algebra, this one for Math 1 basically goes up to Algebra 2. So simpler functions, quadratics, some polynomials, rational, some exponential, but nothing too crazy. Otherwise, though, the tests are basically about the same. There are some differences in the data analysis uh, in terms of regression, which we've talked about before. The numbers and operations look about the same. They claim that there's matrices on this test. I haven't think, seen any matrices on Math 1 yet, but it's in their rubric, so it is possible. Um, but yeah, so otherwise, though, the tests are about the same. There are some differences there as well. But the major differences lie in the algebra and lie in the geometry. One note there's some reference information, as we discussed in the previous video, at the front of each test, but there's only four equations, and of course there are many more formulas and equations you need to know. And these resources, as I've pointed out earlier, are where you can learn basically all the formulas and facts you need to know for the test. So definitely download these resources. There are also, there'll be links in the description of this video. If you're watching it on YouTube, there'll be links on my website to get these resources. Uh, so definitely download the appropriate study guide for your test that you're taking and definitely learn those formulas just so you've got that baseline. All right, let's move on to the next video where we discuss some study tips for how to do well on these tests.